Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is my empties, but it is my empties for um, June and July. So I completely forgot about them in June. And then um, obviously I wanted to wait until the end of July. So there are two months worth of empties in here. It looks like a lot, but I actually don't think there's that much in there. There are um, quite a few other things that I've used up, but they're parts of um, two project pans. So until I've done the updates for those, um, they won't be in the empties. So they'll come in a month later than when I've used them, but that's okay. They'll be shown at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry I haven't really been filming very much lately or posting videos. Um, I have been filming, but I've just really not been very happy with the content. Um, there's always something wrong with the video, so I haven't been posting them. Um, there are a couple of bookish ones that are coming soon, but in terms of sort of project pans, I haven't been happy with how they turned out. So I haven't posted them, but I am going to try and be better in August and um, get back to my regular updates for you guys. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna get into it. So, um, yes, I have my empties for June and July. Um, so the first one we have is this L'Oreal Men Expert Invincible Sport, um, shower gel. It's a five in one. Um, I used this a couple of times just when, um, we'd kind of finished something in the shower and then hadn't replaced it. Um, so this is obviously one Dre was using, but I did use it a few times. It's okay. Um, it's, it's got quite a strong scent, um, but yeah, it was all right, so there's that. Um, I finished up a hair food coconut and macadamia hair mask by Garnier. Uh, I am going to try and reuse the pot, um, I feel like I could probably use it as like a little plant pot. If I took all the stickers and everything off, it comes with its own little dish and you can have a plant in it. I'm not sure how that will turn out. We'll see, because I have a lot of plants and pots and things, but I thought it would be quite a cute idea. And I've got lots of different pots of these, so they'd all be in different colours, which I think would be quite cool. Um, but it was really nice. Um, I loved the smell. It just reminded me of holidays, and I thought that was really, really lovely. Um, I used this when... Because for some reason, Dre seems to use so much more conditioner than I do. And I have a lot more hair than he does. Um, so I ended up using this as like a conditioner alongside um, trying to use up a shampoo. And that was fine. I left it on for like, yeah, it says uh, leave it on for three minutes. Um, and that's fine. So yeah, I did that. That was, that was good. I liked it. Um, the next one I have is a bit of a weird one. But I wanted to talk about it anyway. Um, so that's why it's in here. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a previous one actually, but never mind. Um, so this is the Nikki, hang on, Nikki Elite Toilet Roll. Um, I pick it up in Home Bargains. So it's 32 rolls and it's like £7 for 32 rolls of Lou Roll. And I actually think it's really good quality. Um, obviously if you're, if you're, um, want, I, I'm trying to buy things in bulk is what I'm saying. Um, because I want to try and, um, buy less and um sort of be better for the environment um obviously i know there are more sustainable eco-friendly toilet paper companies out there but financially i cannot support those at the moment um so that is kind of the next best thing for me is to buy like a mega pack um mega pint <laughs> if you know you know um but yeah, it's to kind of try and buy bigger so I don't have to buy as much because I'm buying smaller, if that makes sense. Um, so that 32 rolls will last us a couple of months. Um, and yeah, that works quite well for us. So yeah, there's that. Um, I have the Dove um, Daily Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. There's some fluff stuck to that one. Um, these were okay, I have to be honest. I didn't sort of think anything special about them. They smelt nice, um, but yeah, honestly, they were just all right. Um, I'm actually going to rinse these out and take them to work because um, the children love to play hairdressers, so it'd be nice for them to have some 
things that they can use. Obviously these will be empty, um, but they can still play with them and I think that'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, I, if, they, if they came into my house again, I would use them. That would be fine, um, but I wouldn't necessarily purchase them unless there wasn't anything else kind of kind of thing. But yeah, they were okay. They were nice enough. Um, next up, I have a lemon and mint foot pack. I actually really love this. The smell of it. You don't have this. Yeah, the smell of this is incredible. Um, I really, really enjoy the smell. Um, I used a peeling one. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I used the tea tree and peppermint foot peel um, to obviously get rid of all the dead skin on my feet. And it worked really well, as it always does. Um, but my feet were still peeling um, like a couple of weeks after using it, which I know is perfectly normal. Um, but I just felt like they were really dry and tired. Um, so I picked one of these up in Home Bargains. I think it was like 79p. Um, and yeah. I just really love the smell. My feet felt hydrated. Um, more of the sort of dry skin did come off, but you know, I'm I'm okay with that. I was expecting it. So yeah, I've got this one, and then obviously the peeling one. So two foot masks. Uh, what else do I have? I've got like a collection of wipes in here. Um, so I've got two packs of the Comfy Soft butt wipes. Um, I've been to Home Bargains a few times now and they're not there anymore <laughs> and it's starting to make me feel sad um obviously there are other places you can buy them um but i like these ones i was used to these ones um they were two for a pound which is an absolute bargain um and yeah they were just really good wipes the new ones they had in were um sort of like toilet training ones for little ones which is fine i'm not opposed to using them but they tear really easily um, and they're just not as soft on my butt as the comfy soft ones were. So yes, I will be keeping my eyes peeled for these. I did pick up a new packet of um, like butt wipes from Aldi the other day. Um, so I'll let you know when those are used what I thought. <laughs> um, the other thing I have is two packs of baby wipes. Um, so... Yeah, these were just the extra sensitive ones. I didn't like the texture of these. They felt really, oh, I can't describe it, like woven-y. I, I didn't like it. Um, but they're 100% biodegradable. So that was quite nice. Um, but yeah, I wasn't overly keen on those. I do really enjoy the Mamiya ones from Audi. Um, I don't know if they're fully recyclable. Oh, they're made from plant-based fibres, which is always nice. Um, and they're plastic-free. But yeah, I do prefer the Mamiya ones from Aldi. I think they're a good wipe choice. So there's those. Um, I have some Harpic Active Fresh Tropical Fragrance Toilet Gel. Um, I like this stuff. It came out pink. I was expecting orange, given the packaging. Um, but it came out pink, um, and yeah, it was fine, um, it didn't last very long, I have to be honest, but then that could just be me, maybe when I clean the toilet, I go a bit over the top with the cleaning products, who knows, um, but yeah, so there was that one, uh, I have a packet, oh, of, um, where are we, yeah, nutmeg baby, um, cotton buds, um, so these were from Morrison's. Um, I don't know if you can... If anyone knows, let me know if you can put these in the compost. I've just started a compost in the back garden. Um, and I, I'm sure I heard somewhere that you can compost these, but I'm not sure. So if anyone knows, let me know. But these were fine. Um, Dre uses them more than I do. Um, he's got a bit of an ear cleaning obsession and I know you're not supposed to clean your ears with them but we all do I have looked into getting one of those reusable ones um, but it just hasn't happened yet so yeah these are okay um, it's a shame they're in like a little plastic box but it, it does say you can recycle them so that's fine uh, next up I used a low adherent dressing double sided um, I don't know why I put this in here nobody cares about this 
Um, but basically, I had a friend over, we were toasting marshmallows on a fire pit, and some of the marshmallow flew out and landed on her leg. So unfortunately, she got a blister, and we used a dressing. So yeah, there's that. I don't know why I showed you that. Um, I have a Wild Rhubarb Fabulosa Disinfectant. Um, I use this to kind of, um, what's the word? Clean my sponges um, and also to kind of clean the sink as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. It was alright. Um, I've got the Body Shop Frosted Berries um, Softening Gel Body Lotion. Um, this is in a project pan and I can't remember if I've updated that it's gone or not. Um, so it's gone. Um, it was nice. I did find it really difficult to get the product out at the end. Um, but I just took the thing out and used it. I'm again going to take this bottle into work because um, I think the kids will have fun using it. Um, I just need to wash it out. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I have a lovely triple action toothpaste tube. Um, this was fine. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you should pick a really special toothpaste. I don't know. I just picked the one that's on offer. So yeah, this was the Colgate one. So there's that. Um, I have a Avon Senses Winter Treasure Raspberry and Vanilla Liquid Soap. This was a really dark pinky purpley colour. Um, and while it smelt lovely, it stained the sink so bad. Every time you use it, it just went everywhere. Um, so Dre has specifically asked for no more bright coloured soaps. Um, so yeah, there's that. It was really nice, just stained the sink, it was a nightmare. And then I also have a Cozy Indulgence Body Wash, um, Red Fruits and Caramel. I don't think it particularly smelt like that, but it was an okay product, it was fine. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about that one, to be fair. Um, I have a little uh, Yankee Candle sample. It's the Sage, or, or Votive rather, it's the Sage and Citrus scent. Um, this one's really lovely. Um, I really enjoy the little votives. I have so many though, so um, I definitely don't need to buy any for a while. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really lovely candle. Uh, next up, I have the Body Shop Satsuma Shower Gel. Um, this is a lovely product. I think I've mentioned it in about a million videos now, but the Satsuma scent from Body Shop is my all time favorite scent from there. Um, and when I use this, I just, oh, it just smelled amazing. I absolutely loved it. Again, it's a bottle I'll take into work and the kids can use it. It was just a great product and I really enjoyed it. I did struggle to get the product out. It's a really, it's not a great bottle, but I think I've said this before with Body Shop and with Lush. Their bottles, I think because they're made out of recycled plastic, um, they're just a bit of a pain in the bum to use. But yeah, I used it. So there's that. Um, right, so the next one I have is the number seven extreme lengths um mascara. So this wasn't actually completely finished, but I do my makeup in the bathroom and I dropped it down the toilet. And I'm sure it'd be fine, but I'm not gonna risk it. So yes, this is more of a kind of empty declutter kind of item. Um yeah, I dropped it down the toilet and I'm not putting it on my face. So yeah, there's that one. It was okay. I have to be honest, I don't think I would purchase it again. The mascara I have on at the moment and I'm really enjoying is the one from the Audi Advent Calendar. I think it's called something like Too Legit. Um, and not that I needed any more makeup, but I picked up a full size one when I was in there the other day. It is perfect. So yeah, I'm quite happy with a six pound mascara over one that I imagine is about 15 quid. Um, yeah, so there's that. We're coming down to the end. I've only got a few bits left now. Right, so I have a little mini gorgeous moisturiser from Lush. Um, I have to be honest, I wasn't a fan. The pot doesn't give you enough at the bottom to hold, to unscrew it, which is just a pain in the bum. Um, and I really didn't like the smell. It was really botanical and just not great. So I ended up actually using it on my feet. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't purchase this one again. It just wasn't for me. I'm sure they do lovely products. I have one, um, 
for your hair that they do and I absolutely love it and that's a bit of a botanically kind of smell um, but yeah this this one just wasn't for me yeah no I didn't like that smell for my face and I can't remember I put it on and I got into bed and Dre was like what is that smell what have you put on your face um, so yeah it's just not for me so I use it on my feet uh, next up I have this little Clinique take the day off cleansing balm um, it was a really nice product, um, it worked really well, there's not much I can say about it, it was a nice product, so yeah, there's that one. And then finally, I have two um, number seven face creams, so I have the Hydroluminous Overnight Recovery Gel Cream, um, it's this one, which I really, really liked, and I um, got it in, well, both of these were from the advent calendar for the last two years, um, so this one was this year's, I believe. Maybe it was last year's as well. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I actually picked up the full size tubs of these while they were on offer recently. And I think I got them for five or six pounds instead of 14 for a full size um, pot. But I really like the tubes. Um, I, I prefer a tube, but I imagine um, the, the glass... Um, What's the word? The glass. My brain has just gone. The glass tubs that the uh, creams come in are possibly more recyclable, which is why they do it. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. And then this is the one that I absolutely love. This is the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream. It's got SPF 15 in it. And it's just a really lovely product, again, in the tube. And I do have a backup of these full sized. Um, but I want to use up all my mini face creams before I move on to the bigger ones. Um, but yeah, they're just lovely products. I think generally these ones are about £15 for the full size tub and these ones are about £25. Um, and I've always been very much, I'm not going to spend a fortune on skincare, you know, it's, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I actually really love these products. My skin is so hydrated and soft when I use them that I have been converted um, and they last ages like these have definitely last me six months if not more so um, I'm quite happy to purchase the full size ones as and when needed um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, dad treats me to the advent calendar again if not I'll have to um, get it myself because the, these sizes are just incredible um, but yeah so that is my empties for June and July. So let's have a quick count up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So, yeah, 26 products for two months. Okay, it's not perfect. Um, normally, that's kind of the amount I would use in one month, I think. Um, but as I said, there have been a lot of kind of mini samples, um and other products that I've used as part of um, Project Pans that I didn't want to show you in this until I'd done the Project Pan update. So technically there is more for June and July, um, but obviously they won't be shown until August. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any suggestions, tips or anything like that from any of the products I mentioned, then I would love to hear them. But yeah, that's everything for me. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.